Uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to turn out extremely well. We're in a very strong position. The relationship I have with President Xi is extraordinary. It's really very good, but he's for China and I'm for the USA, and it's very simple. We always win. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And I'm not kidding about that. I I cover a lot of stuff from sci-fi, movies, TV shows, games, things happening in news, and stock market stuff. Because uh, I, I do like to invest in the stock market. I do have some investments that I keep track of. And this is something uh, that I'm glad someone brought up because I was wanting to do a video on how I feel that the stock market is being manipulated by President Trump, whether it is intentionally or not intentionally. But if you follow the stock market and the crazy tweets that President Trump does, then you'll know that any little thing that he says has a big effect on the stock market. Uh, and, and we've been seeing this recently with the whole thing with the, the trade war uh, with China, where he says things like, they backed out on the deal. Uh, if they don't agree to it, if they don't agree to the deal that we have, I'm going to be putting tariffs on everything, which results in the stock market going through a sell-off. And then when there is a simple word of, oh, well, things are constructive right now, well, then everyone goes back in and starts buying. And it's, it's just ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. And so Jim Cramer here says, I don't trust this market at all because it's so dependent on Trump tweets. And I got to agree with him. It is crazy. It's, if if President Trump is keeps his mouth shut, uh, the stock market seems to do just fine. But the minute that he opens up his mouth and tweets out the garbage that he tweets out, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to know what the president is doing, and I like to hear directly from him rather than the news media, which tends to Talia. <laughs> she just marched. She just made this thing move. Um, you know, rather than hearing it from the media, because I'm sorry, I don't trust the media. Um, I would rather hear it from the president himself. The problem that I have is the way that he does it. And I don't mean Twitter. It's his style. I know it's his style. But he could have more tact honestly, on what he does uh, with his tweets. I mean, it's not very professional. I mean, imagine if you were working for a company, all right, and and you put out tweets like that. You're not going to have your job very long. But he does this because he knows he can do it and get away with it. Anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and read this. If you're an investor, you're probably frustrated by what the stock market is doing. Um, I am trying to... Talia, she's getting too comfortable down here. She's, she's laying here in front of me, rolling upside down as I'm petting her. <laughs> and her tail and her... And her Paws are hitting the keyboard and it's scrolling all over the place. That's what's causing the stock market to go all over the place. It's not Trump. It's my cat. Anyway, CNBC's Jim Cramer, which is a rather entertaining guy to watch, <laughs> at least I think, uh, voiced concern about the staying power of the stock market's bounce Tuesday following President Donald Trump's latest tweet storm on China trade and Monday sharp decline. I don't trust this market at all, 
Kramer warned on Squawk on the Street as stock futures pointed to a higher Wall Street open, which in fact came to pass through this morning. Uh, in the morning, Trump has made it so we get got to wait to be able to buy. Kramer said he was troubled by Trump's barrage of tweets Tuesday calling them a little erratic, including this one about the Federal Reserve. So Donald J. Trump put out this, and I got to do this, right? China will be pumping money into their system and probably reducing interest rates as always in order to make up for the business they are and will be losing. If the Federal Reserve bought Bob, Bob, where you at, Bob? Bob, there you are. If they ever did a match, it would be game over. We win. In any event, China wants a deal. Anyway, Trump is really disturbing the zeitgeist of the stock market, Kramer said. He should knock the tweets off if he wants the Dow to start going up. Thank you. At least today. How about, I don't know, permanently. On Mad Money on Monday evening after the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 each lost about 2.4% on China's tariff response to last week's U.S. hike, Kramer said Wall Street is nearly oversold and investors should get ready to load up on names that can withstand higher tariffs. However, in light of the uncertainty about Trump's new tweets, Kramer on Tuesday advised investors to let things shake out saying there may be a buying opportunity in stocks later in the session. That's kind of what I'm doing. Um, I wanted to, I had Apple and I had, I had sold it and I had Nvidia and I had sold that also. I'm waiting for it to get to a certain point before I jump in again. Um, at least maybe with, uh, one, one share or something. Uh, I thought about getting a share of Nvidia today, but I decided that if if this trade war escalates further and there's signs that it will, because China is saying that they're going to put tariffs on the U.S. in effect on June 1st, then uh, chip manufacturers uh, as such as NVIDIA and uh, Apple are going to be hit hard. So, but I did buy stock today. I bought, I bought a couple of shares in Uber. Because Uber did not have a very good uh, debut, along with Lyft. They didn't have a good debut either. Um, I had bought two shares of Lyft when they uh, first debuted it. I'm um, down about $40 right now, so I'm going to be holding on to that for a while. Uh, but Uber, um, I waited uh, until today to get, because they went down. And, well, now may not be too bad of a time to get uh, to get them. Uh, anyway, in the late morning trading, the S&P 500 was making up about half of Monday's losses, which had sent the index down for a total of nearly 5% from its May 1st intraday all-time high. So far in 2019, the S&P 500 has gained about 13%, and since the crushing Christmas Eve 2018 low, which would have been a great time to buy stocks, the index has soared more than 20%. On Monday, China said it will raise tariffs, some to as high as 25% on $60 million, no, billion, <laughs> $60 dollars in U.S. goods in retaliation for the Trump administration's decision last week to increase duties on $200 billion worth of Chinese products from 10% to 25%. Meanwhile, the Office of the U.S. Trade Representative is taking steps to prepare to slap tariffs on the remaining billions and billions of dollars worth of Chinese goods coming into the U.S. And, of course, there is a staying on whether is China going, going to sell the, the debt that they've been purchasing of um, the U.S. Okay, so as you know, the U.S. is, the US is in a lot of debt. Well, the U.S., sells that debt to, uh, you know, on the market and companies can buy it and hopes to make money off of it, I guess. But anyway, that's that. Here's a little video of James, Jim Cramer. Like I said, I, I like this guy. Um, I just, I find him entertaining. 
Schwab is the better place for traders with a satisfaction guarantee no one else offers. percent down day. Turnaround Tuesday being talked about a lot, um, given the volume uh, split yesterday. Why don't you trust it? Well, it, it, I don't trust it because at the beginning of the day, uh, typically I would say we have a chance to find a bottom. But I think that the president is really in tweet mode. Uh, and when he gets in one of these He's modes, we kind of have to mode. wait to see when he gets bored of tweeting and moves on to some other things. Because he's created a level of uncertainty that would make it so that typically we won't want to come in with both both uh, hands and start buying. Uh, the tweets, he should knock the tweets off if he wants the data to start going up, at least today. I bet because it doesn't look like this when he tweets. Think, well, wait a second. What happens if he tweets, I hate the Chinese even though I love them? <laughs> and, and the President Xi's the greatest guy, but I have to crush him? Because he's a, his tweets are a little erratic this morning. I mean, they're definitely in favor of he's the United right. States. He's we totally right. I mean, that's kind of obvious. But I think he's made it so that we got to wait to be able to buy. And he's got to move on and, and stop tweeting now. Maybe take a couple of meetings, play some golf. Because, wow, he's really disturbing the zeitgeist <laughs> of the stock market. Yeah, more than half a dozen tweets today about uh, <laughs> how we've rescued the steel industry, how farmers uh, will see the difference made up by the U.S. as their time is now. And then, Jim, this last one about... Uh, China stimulus, what would happen in his view if the Fed should do a match, to quote him? Um, some argue yeah. that he's now putting the ball in the Fed's court if this thing is truly painful. Yeah, the market doesn't like that. They don't want one of these things where the Fed, they don't want to hear him telling the Federal Reserve what to do. I mean, we have people who come on air all the time. Rick Santel was talking about you know, shorting the Fed and buying the two, whatever. I mean, all right, anyway, so this goes on for seven minutes. So. Uh, if you want to watch the rest of it, the link to this article is going to be in the description and, and you can check it out. Uh, but I just wanted to play a little bit of it just because I like Jim Cramer. Uh, I like listening to him. He's, he's kind of entertaining. Um, I definitely would not base my trades on what he says because he's not always right. Not every, not every, you know, not everyone is right. But despite that, I still find him rather entertaining. But anyways, uh, what do you think about this whole thing? Uh, do you do investing? Is it bothering you right now with these tweets that he's doing? Are you not worried about it um, because you're confident in the stocks that you have? Um, maybe you're sick and tired of Trump uh, with his tweets. Whether or not you voted for him or not, uh, are, you, you could be tired of his tweets. Um, but some people find it entertaining, so... Anyway, let me know in the comments below and subscribe if you're new to this channel because uh, I am doing what I can to try to get more subscribers to my channel and, you know, kind of spread the word of the Killer Nation. So if you haven't subscribed, be a part of the Killer Nation. And uh, one of my Shep Ramblers, be a part of my team. Well, not necessarily team, but, you know, be... Be a part of our community. There we go. And uh, don't be afraid to comment and uh, talk with me because I, I love talking with you guys. And I, I do my best to respond to all of you as quickly as I can. But anyhow, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another rambling video. As my cat starts to roll upside down over by my keyboard once again.